Over the last 10 weeks, I have traveled all around England in the wake of the torch relay, and I have done so many crazy and wonderful things, uh, lots of tourist attractions, I've been to zoos, museums, I've bungee jumped, I've eaten at fabulous restaurants, I've been surfing, sailing, there's just so much that I've done and all crammed into a 10 week adventure in the wake of the Olympic torch relay, it's been fantastic. I think we chose uh, Rosie to be Rachel's camper van for this journey because um, she's very comfortable, she's a classic bay camper, um, she was all beautiful inside, she had everything that would be needed to make Rachel comfortable. She's got a lovely fridge with an ice box, she could make ice, she could have a nice cold glass of wine if she wanted to. Um, she's got a hob and a grill underneath, so that was part of the reason. So before I start going and getting all emotional anyway, I better do some thank yous because there's so many people to thank, um, pop the mic, why don't you? Uh, first of all, to all the um, DMOs, as Penny said, you've all made me so welcome. I'm really so happy to see so many of you here today because without you, the trip wouldn't have been what it was. It would just be me wandering around from towns and villages going, what shall I do? Um, to the Camping and Caravanning Club for putting me up, or putting up with me all the way around. Um, you know, a fantastic organisation and the site managers are really just a credit to that organisation because they've just welcomed me with open arms um, at every site, it was fantastic. It's been an amazing experience, hard work definitely, um, but it's just been so brilliant watching Rachel's journey, seeing all the amazing things that she's done, seeing her Twitter followers go up, seeing all the comments on the blog and just everyone responding so fantastically to it. I'll definitely be on some camping and caravanning club sites in the future, maybe some of the certified sites as well. It might not be in Rosie, but I am saving up for my own camper van. I think that the, the one thing I'll take away from this is that, you know, life is all about fun and life is an adventure and it's very, very easy to get bogged down in the day-to-day -day routine of life. You know, we all have bills to pay, we all have jobs to do, but you know what? A couple of days camping at the weekend can just balance all of that out. <laughs>